I suspect we'll be doing some lane splitting. No, we won't. We'll be doing some filtering. There is a difference. Lane splitting is well, pretty much the crazy shit at speed. Filtering is the slow speed stuff when you're bimbling between the cars to give yourself a you know, to, to reduce the chances of getting squashed up from the rear. Um, as we know, there are some people in cars and tr trucks that don't want to give you space to do it. Or they're oblivious as to your being there at all, so they don't give you space. majority of the time when you get blocked it's that they're not doing it on purpose there's only the odd cockhead that will try to block you it's just laughable but there you go that's the mentality of these people remember you're better than they are the lane splitting is the crazy stuff I once saw in France as well and it's just mental Filtering, different kettle of fish. Pick your moments, like this situation here. I'm not going to go too early, I can go now. And I will still, even though I've got a green, because I'll better pick my spot here, look. Pick your enemies, make your progress. A little bit close to Mitsubishi. I'm looking in the distance, I've got yellow lights, nothing in that lane behind me on the right, close, close. I'm gonna go this. Shortest queue. So we're looking at the shopping trolley moment here. We're watching for all these cars, any of them could just swap lanes and go for swatch them, they're dangerous him. So, as soon as I speak, they do it. And do you know what, I'd have been looking for it. Now we've got a red light. I'm not gonna to get to the front here. Because the SUVs have got taller mirrors. But, we'll see. I'm getting a little bit of a bimbo. I'm lying to myself. I just might just get to the front. Even if I do, let's slow down here. Let's get a green. And we'll pick our enemy. Here we go. So we're getting behind the BMW. Time to perfection. And then just back, don't accelerate into the back of the BMW. Just back it off. Again, situation, I look at the distance in these cars in front, the one on the middle lane, you don't want to be racing this left car on the shoulder here, wait till he gets behind to the side here, and then go. Pick your spot, don't race in front of him. Just pick your moments. Similar situation now. Straight to the front, I'm not going to race. I've got Matey on his scooter up front and his t-shirt. And a truck, now he's going to be slower away, so I'm going to stick here. And be prominent. We get a green, we'll take it from there. Can't see around this bend very well because of the truck, so just not accelerate too hard. Watch, he's not going to change lanes on me. I always have that acceleration ready. And we're through. Just back it off slightly here. And at this point, quick shoulder check. We can have a quick look down this gap here, see what's occurring, get some ideas of what sort of traffic movements we've got. Very little. I can do the same on this side. There's my gap, won't you see it? So we'll bimble through here, watching for pedestrians, poking the nose between vehicles. Watch for this white Commodore on the left coming out, the wagon, estate cars we'd call it. Cars moving. See how it's tight there between that Hyundai and that white U. It's just opened itself up a little bit now. So it was just a case of waiting for that to sort itself out. Again, vehicle change. Now, this you could change lanes. 
So as tempting as it is, while I'm in his blind spot to go to that middle lane, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to gain much because the lights are yellow. And I'm going to lane split, but I'm not going to go yet. See how quick that blue mile's just coming up me outside. Let them all slow down at your speed and then go. But don't, don't go into a race with people because you're going to get them here instead. Always be aware of just, the speed of the vehicles coming up behind you. And don't just dive for a gap. Nice and smooth. Okay, pick me spot. Love that one. Don't like overtaking or undertaking on crossings. You just don't know if there's anybody, any latecomers on foot. You don't want to be colliding people with them on a crossing, even if it's your right away, because you, you're just going to end up in trouble. So don't just race up the inside at crossings, even if you've got a green. It's not a race. As much as we like to think it is, and we like to get from A to B as quick as we can. If you're frantic, you're going to end up having problems. Again, bimble through, slow speed controls, imperative here, just nice and steady all the way to the front. Beautiful. 